Hey, in this video, we're going to talk about triggering smoothness because a smooth swing that has good tempo is going to be a more consistent performer. Consistently long, consistently straight, consistently lower scores. So stay tuned. Hey, I'm Steve from HitItLonger.com. I continue my journey to hit the ball longer and straighter than ever before. I hope you'll join me and hit like and subscribe. Hey, no one's ever accused me of being a dancer before, but if you'd like to make your golf swing a little bit more like ballet or maybe Mozart, like some of the smoothest guys you've ever seen on TV, like a Fred Couples, somebody like that, somebody who looks like they just hit the ball forever without looking like they're using a lot of effort at all, hitting the sweet spot every single time. Well, all these things are great for scoring. And again, you can use music and musical rhythms to not only help you time your swing better, but also help you get off to a very smooth beginning to the swing that hopefully will carry its way all the way through. So first, let's take a look at a couple of the musical notes or the musical beats that you, you can make to make your swing smooth before the swing even begins. Now, first we wanna make an extremely supple waggle. So, just like in the Hogan book, Five Lessons, big part of that is not only the grip, but the suppleness from the shoulder down to the fingertip. So you wanna be this way, barely grip the club. Now, what I do is, I'm gonna get a left-hand measurement to the ball this way, fit my right hand under. Now that's all separate, but now once I have established the right side under at address, now I'm going to waggle the club this way. And this waggle is done incredibly supply. So the closer you can get to a, like a Sergio Garcia or a Ben Hogan waggle where it's just incredibly flippity floppity, the better. You are trying not only to give yourself a sneak preview of how you're going to use the wrists, the forearms and draw the club back in the backswing, but you're also giving yourself that mnemonic feel, that preview of how supply and relaxed you're going to be as you take the club back. So, however you set up to the ball, don't care about that right now. I'd want to see you. You'd make a waggle or two as you check the target. Now, I like one. Uh, you've seen guys winning major championship over the years. They connect their brain and their eyes to the target as their feet keep moving and they waggle. So a great example of that was Johnny Miller. Nicholas was the same way. They kept waggling until they felt like they had established this pure connection with their eyes and their brain, their spatial awareness as they continued waggling and moving this way. So I like to do it in one. So that's where I would say the word, I would just say the word waggle and I'll do my waggle you might check the target with your head and your eyes as you do that now the next beat is going to be an and and the and is going to take up a forward press so the forward press is going to come immediately just like a a song or music is continuous and it's rhythmic it's even I'm going to make the forward press on the very next beat, and that's going to be my and. So it's going to be waggle and. So here comes the and. What I'm going to do here for the and, I am going to press the wrist forward about a half an inch. This is all very, very supple and. So this little extension here in the wrist, I'm going to push it and I'm going to flatten it out. The second thing I'm going to do is take the left hip and I'm going to bump it towards the target. Now how much? Almost imperceptibly. No more than a half of an inch. Thirdly, I'm going to kick my knee towards the center. 
All this happens simultaneously. So here we go. Waggle. And. That's it. Waggle. And. So the hand, the knee, the hip, all moves. And that's my and. This is, think of the conductor of the orchestra. Waggle. And. He's getting ready to conduct the symphony. So he's getting all the sections of the orchestra, the strings and the brass and the percussion. He's getting them all ready to jump in on the first beat. Uh, that's like our joints of our body. You've got the brass, you've got the woodwinds here, okay? You've got the percussion, you've got big muscles, small muscles, and we're trying to make a symphony, uh, a musical symphony, beautiful, like playing full orchestra, playing uh, Mozart or Beethoven. And the next thing I'm going to do is establish the rhythm of the swing. And the rhythm of the swing is going to be the same as the rhythm of a pendulum. A pendulum is going to swing one second in either direction. And one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. Now, because I think it makes more sense with the timing of the golf swing not to think in one, two, although you could do that if you prefer it, but I prefer a waltz count. So it's going to be waggle and, and then you're just constructing a pendulum out of your swing. It's one, two, three, one, two, three. So each measure of three beats you would have an emphasis on beat number one. So it would be like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And every time you would say the number one, your club will be down at the bottom of the swing. So I've got my friend here, the orange whip. Um, if you'd like to pick one of these up, because there are a lot of great training drills that you can do with this, as well as uh, learn how to hit the ball farther by using this, farther and straighter, because of the wonderful rhythm that you can get by swinging this thing. It's great for warming up too, but I've left a link to this item uh, at my website uh, down below in the description. But what I love about this, now if I just dangle this thing with gravity, see this thing bends. Look, I can bend this back on itself, maybe 90 degrees before it might anything might happen to it. But if it hangs underneath this way vertically well the gravity is pulling that shaft straight right now but the shaft will also be straight in along the entire pendulum it never bends because outward seeking force is acting on it pulling it straight the only way is if i were to jerk it this way i can get it to bend but otherwise this thing is going to stay Beautifully on the musical waltz count and one, two, three. So let's start over. Watch this. Waggle and one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And really that is the ideal tempo for a swing to be made on. So putting that all together here, we'd be looking at waggle and one, two, three, one, two, three. So you might try that slow at first. Slow does not mean not rhythmic, still very rhythmic. The one will be my embarking, I'm gonna pushing off the dock with my boat. So I'm starting to leave the dock, starting in, the conductor has gone waggle and, and everybody crashes down together and starts that first note of the symphony waggle and one and then the second one is going to come when the club swooshes back through the impact zone again so it's three beats to the top of the swing and three beats to the end of the swing three or two waltz measures and then the second one is going to be impact and that is exactly how the greatest swings, all the greatest swings in history, almost everybody on TV is swinging at a three to one ratio. Three parts on the back swing, 
one third of that amount of time back down into impact and the rest of the waltz measure to finish the swing. So again, it would look like this. Ready? And one, two, three, one, two, three. Do one more and I'm gonna add more speed. I'm gonna swing this thing maybe up to 100 miles an hour, but I'm gonna play this next one in slow motion, replay it again so you can see that I am maintaining this pendulum action and you're, you see how the shaft is really straight. Well, because I'm gonna pause just like in the between measures, remember it's not one, two, three, one, two, three, it's one, two, three, one, two, three. And being in rhythm means that your club is going to very briefly, visibly come to rest at the top of the swing. I am not a big fan of jumping out in front of the downswing like I know some other teachers on YouTube are but I think you'll be much more consistent if you blend the music to this which means there will absolutely be a pause but what you're gonna see in the playback and the slow-mo I'm gonna show you is once the initial see how if I just hold the club gravity wants to make it droop a little bit but as soon as I get to about shoulder level you're not gonna see the shaft bend anymore all the way through the impact zone I think this is a better way for most people to swing the club. So here comes a faster swing where I will not still bend the shaft. And even faster. So we're looking at swinging this heavy implement over 100 miles an hour, but staying so rhythmic that the shaft just simply doesn't bend throughout the downswing. Okay, so that's a great tool and a great exercise to do. Let's exchange it back to the driver again. All right, so I'm starting behind the ball, cleansing breath, dangling the arms and fingers. It's cleansing, relaxing, mel melting the stress away, getting supple, doing the dangle drill real quick, shaking out the tension from the shoulders and arms. It's a happy, grateful breath. Hey, I'm so happy to be out here on the golf course. There are a lot of much less pleasant alternatives. Now, once the club is set and the stance and the grip are set, this is when the conductor begins, the performance begins. There is no thinking about the performance anymore. The fingers just got to go and you're going to follow the conductor. So it's a continuous. You never come to rest. It look like this. Set the feet. Establish eye contact with the target. Now, once the conductor goes, it's going to be waggle and one, two, three, one, two, three. So here we go. Waggle. And. Waggle. And. That really takes your brain and puts it onto autopilot. You don't have enough time to think about anything mechanical about the swing. You are just now at the symphony. You're conducting the symphony. Ready and one, two, three, one, two, three. And all you're thinking about is rhythm. Now for those of you who get caught up and you're confused and lost in the weeds with the mechanics of the golf swing, I dare you to go out and try this for one or two rounds and see what you shoot by just simply playing the conductor and letting the music play automatically just think waggle and one two three one two three swing in rhythm i'll bet you'll hit more sweet spots i'll bet you have more power and i'll bet you hit it straighter so this is the secret to making a smooth rhythmic takeaway all the way into the backswing 
and then down through the ball. Hey, I'm Steve. Thanks so much for watching. Please help me grow to 100,000 subscribers by hitting the subscribe button so you don't miss any videos. And as usual, I'll either see you in the next video or I'll see you longer and straighter down the fairway. Everybody take good care.